Good morning. Woo! It's a little early to be wooing too loud. We didn't even know last night, but apparently it's daylight savings ending or daylight savings starting, ending. I don't know. Can never keep track. Morning. Morning. <laughs> What is going on y'all? Right now I'm currently in Humboldt, California. We're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing. It's early in the morning here. Uh, you guys you guys probably remember my buddy Kang. He lives up here now, so that's why I'm here. We could talk more about that a little later, but the weather is looking, it's a little chilly, but apparently the fishing is solid up here and the potential of catching a monster ling cod is in the air. So hopefully, hopefully we're able to snag one and cook that up later on. But for now, let's get going. It's getting a little bit late and we need to get fishing. All right, folks, we have just arrived at the spot that we're gonna be fishing at today, and it is absolutely gorgeous out right now. It's 46 degrees. My app says that the real feel is also 46 degrees, so it is pretty perfect conditions. I'm hoping we catch a pretty fat fish because we do plan to do a catch and cook this video, and it's getting a little bit late, so I'm gonna get out there and get my line in the water. Today, we're gonna be fishing with these swim baits. We've got a couple different colors, but I think I'm gonna start off with this flashy green looking guy and see if we have any luck with this. What? I hooked on to <laughs> fish? I literally, I didn't even set the hook. Dude, is that he, a it hooked himself. <laughs> Dude, All right. Nice. All right, boys and girls. There's one. Phew. Oh, he's got parasites everywhere. Dude, really? Ooh. Oh. Nasty. So I just hooked up on a fish, but it was really weird because I didn't even set the hook. I just started reeling in and I was like, it feels like there's a fish on my line, but I didn't want to say anything. And sure enough, there's a fish. So I got that out of the way pretty early. At least I didn't strike out. Let's see if we could catch a cooker now though. So the style of fishing that we're doing on the jetty, you're really susceptible to breaking off or, or getting stuck in the rocks. I just got stuck and I broke off. So I got to re-rig right now.
This is the spot, guys. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm manifesting it. Sorry guys, I thought I was gonna manifest it. I guess not. I don't know how well you guys could see that up ahead on camera but the jetty gets really treacherous out there the waves are crashing way over onto the jetty so we're probably not going to go down that far because we don't want to get soaked today as pretty as it is out here we're having absolutely no luck no bites no signs of life nada zip so we're gonna turn around, start heading back to the car. We'll fish a little bit along the way. Hopefully we can catch another fish. But if not, we do plan to go surf fishing a little bit later in the day today. So the catch and cook is still a possibility. I'm really hoping that we're able to snag something because the idea of a fresh caught fish up here in Northern California, and that just sounds really tasty. Now I just want to take a quick moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, AccuWeather. In the days leading up to this trip, I utilized the AccuWeather app to monitor the weather to ensure that I have all of the proper gear and clothing to stay safe and warm. Now, aside from having an extremely accurate weather app, AccuWeather also has a few very useful and unique features that I would like to share with you guys today. The first of which being the real feel feature. Now this is a data-backed function that takes factors like UV index, wind, precipitation, and it generates a number based on what you can actually expect the weather to feel like. I'm sure we've all experienced it at one point or another where we've looked at our weather app and it feels a lot warmer or colder than the temperature that it's saying. And Real Feel is a way that you can plan and prepare for what the weather is actually going to feel like. The next feature is the allergy outlook. This feature takes factors like mold, pollen, dust, and it quantifies it into a number so you can expect exactly how many allergens are going to be in a specific area at a specific time. So allergies are really something that can make or break an adventure. Right now, the AccuWeather app is actually completely free to download in the App Store. They do have a website as well, but I like the app because it's a lot more convenient. Make sure to check that out today. And once again, thank you to AccuWeather for sponsoring this video. All right, we had lunch, we made it back to the beach. As you can see, we are parked in the sand. We're gonna go test our luck with some surf fishing. So, wish us luck. We were surf fishing all day yesterday and didn't, I don't think we got any bites. Oh no, did, yeah, we got some bites, but it just wasn't that great. Hopefully today's a little better. No way! <laughs> Wait, it's pretty, it's not bad. 
Dude. Oh, it's a keeper. Dude. Whoa, it's a keeper. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! <Hey! laughs> Last minute, dude. Clutch. Oh, we have literally completely given up hope because the tide right now is really, really whack. But I was like, go out there and get a couple casts so I could get a few shots of you casting out. And sure enough, <laughs> he snags one. <laughs> Looks like we're doing the catch and cook after all, boys and girls. Woo! Sorry, buddy. You're going to be dinner tonight. Or at least an appetizer. I don't think it's big enough to be dinner, but... Get a lot of rice. <laughs> 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 Yoo Dude, I'm gonna go get one. Me? Yeah. I don't know how. Yeah, you do. You've done it before. <laughs> I've done it once. All right, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Hopefully I don't ruin the one fish. We'll go to the seafood market <laughs> if we don't get enough meat. <laughs> hey, cool hat, by the way. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the truck now. This is the one small singular filet that we got from the fish because I kind of ruined one of the flies, but this is what we got. It's, it's, it's not much, but it's better than nothing. We're going to go cook it up and have at least one bite each. All right, so we got the little mini filet here from earlier. We're just going to season that up, cook it real quick. Hit it with a little bit of salt here. A little bit of pepper. Some garlic powder. Holy crap, that was a lot of garlic powder. It all just flew out at once. Last but not least, a little bit of lemon juice, of course. This is just a very, very simple array of seasonings that we have here. fishing a lot more in the upcoming week uh, so do expect more catch and cooks anyways thank you guys like always for watching you guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own live life beat the status quo you all know the drill enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one peace oh i do want to just point out look at this guy he's got a golfing green in his apartment that's dedication no couch. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we got camping chairs. PS5. PS5. <laughs> camping chairs and a putting green. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. <laughs>